Now this is a story that ought to be told, of a great project born of an idea so bold. Successful it was, and almost amiss, but the undergrad dictionary omits preposterous. A lesson in thinking outside of the box when static technology loses its shocks. The study of nature really brings out the best, and science is endless. Now, I must digress. A long time ago, while observing the skies, Dr. Robert Wing Lee saw something that opened his eyes. At that time, he didn't know he had hit a home run. It was just another day at the University of Washington. While looking at Jupiter through a thousand zoom lens, he saw something interesting with Jupiter's friends. The closest one, Io, with its odd composition, puts the Jovian system in a unique position. Its size and proximity and geologism gives it powerful, bad-smelling sulfur volcanism. So powerful, in fact, it's quite the atrocity. It violently spews sulfur at escape velocity. And particles in space don't stay neutral for long, for cosmic radiation is astronomically strong. Those high-energy photons are of interest to NASA. They turn gases in space into magnetic plasma. Now Jupiter has more than a gravitational influence. Its metallic hydrogen core has electric restrictiveness, and Io has been spewing for a billion years, so that ionized sulfur is stuck in the Jovian magnetosphere. While Robert was watching Zeus and his lovers, his students had useful features of plasma to uncover. The Advanced Propulsion Lab has the unusual luster of a very cool specialization, the Pulsed Plasma Thruster. PPTs, so useful for small craft, it's alarming. The not-so-great feature is Teflon fuel charring. I have an idea, but you may find it vulgar. He held out his hand and said, here, try sulfur. This went against everything the grad students knew. Sulfur is corrosive, hard to machine, too. There was much better research still there to be had, so they handed the rock to the nearest undergrad. All he knew about sulfur was its molecular weight, which is reason number one why undergrads are great. It wasn't impossible, it just had some quirks. They don't see why not. They don't know what won't work. He took to the shop, and after some air pollution, he developed an awesomely clever solution. Sulfur melts when exposed to heat without flame, then molded when hot to whatever its frame. He took the precautions to avert a combustor, and complete was the first sulfur pulsed plasma thruster. There was much celebration on the new innovation, but the thruster still needed some stiff observation. In the poor vacuum chamber, they placed the device and the following picture demonstrates quite nice that the thruster performed very well its first trial. Said Dr. Wing Lee, now that's volatile. So it's time we show the thruster in all of its glory as we move the technology out of the laboratory. We'll fly it in NASA's reduced gravity plane and put its development in the fast lane. We'll gain flight experience in a fantastic fashion and inspire some kids to have a strong science passion because science is cool and important as ever, in a world that needs to encourage kids to keep being clever. So from Jupiter's moon to the lab to the sky, in the paraphrase Tyson, Sagan, and Nye, there's no greater way to keep science in schools. Keep reaching, have wonder, and of course, science rules.